Uh, Bob Proctor, thank you so much for having the time. My pleasure, man. You always want to focus on your strengths, get clients, get them results. This idea of an agency, it's actually possible. We're gonna start the day with a karate lesson. I do karate and all these things is because I think there's immense value in actually building discipline in yourself and people are not doing it that much so what I mean by that is things in life are tough and you need to have first thick skin and second of all if you don't have built that discipline in yourself it's actually really hard to get to achieve anything that you want to achieve right so it's just a habit that you want to build and if you do it getting things is a lot easier the same as cold showers the same as journaling the same as reading the same as anything I think it's just valuable to have that so that's why I do that I got to the office yep <laughs> Everybody's working. So just a quick update. Uh, we had a really interesting day today at the office. Uh, uh, we're implementing something called Scrum that I don't know much about what my team does. Uh, and that's really cool. It's gonna allow us to be more efficient. So I love that. By the way, just made this really cool video about goal setting. I'm gonna put that up. I'm gonna put some recent bits and pieces of it into the vlog today. And we're gonna also make a separate vlog uh, video for that. So check that out, it's really cool. And it's actually like real stuff that happened in, with proof, so it's really exciting. So with that, today is already done at the office. And we're gonna see you uh, tomorrow. Hey there, this is Catalin, and I want to tell you a really interesting story that goal setting really works. And what I did is, is I went to the seminar to Brian Tracy. Shout out to Brian Tracy, really cool guy. And at the end of the seminar, he said, that if you're serious about growing yourself and becoming the person you wanna be, you should go home and write 101 goals for your life. I went home and did that. Just gonna read you some of these and how they, how they happen. I'll shake hands with Bob Proctor and just did an interview with him and uh, it was amazing. Uh, Bob Proctor, thank you so much for having the time. My pleasure, man. Yesterday. Like we were actually talking about, we are really in serious discussions with one of the biggest air restaurant owners in Romania right now for our agency. And we traced back how did that happen, right? Because it did not happen like, he got a lead, I called the guy, he became a potential lead, we called again. That's not how it happened. Here's how it happened. <laughs> he broke his watch. We have a relative that works at a watch company. We went there. The guy's partner hired us to do his Christmas campaigns. This is like two months ago, right? We did his Facebook campaigns. Like I was like not even charging the guy. I don't really like a Romanian client, not really that big of a client. I was not like, okay, let's help the guy, right? And after that, the guy that our relative recommended us to this restaurant owner. I don't know if he's gonna make like he's gonna blow up or not, if it's gonna happen or not, yeah. but look back. It happened because he broke his watch and right before we went to, to repair his watch, he asked me, like, do you want to come upstairs? I want to repair my glass. I'm like, okay, let's go. And then we got talking and doing like, like how can you know that? You cannot know that. So I think you should be rather focusing all your time and energy on what you can see mm. and where do you really want to go. And when the opportunity comes, make the most out of every single one. So I, I've, heard, I've heard that you like to talk to people. And you also like to talk about marketing. And also you heard that you talked to Gary Vee. Right. How, how did that happen and what did you talk about? If you're training people right now, um, and if you're the entrepreneur type, if you're the control freak type, which you probably are, then keep in mind that even if you feel like you're losing control, you gotta give it up. You gotta give it to the right people. You gotta trust.